I'm going to finish up the reviews with a couple of short sections on algorithms and on data analysis. So I'll just go over the, these are two separate documents on the site, but I'm just going to do this one video. So let's start with algorithms here. And the first question is, which of the following functions grows faster for suitably large values of n? Well, is it n or is it log of n? And ln, remember, is natural log. Well, logarithm actually grows a lot slower. If you think of powers of 2, you know, 2 to the 5th is 32, 2 to the 6th is 64, uh, 2 to the 7th is 128. And so you can see the values of um, the log are growing a lot faster than the log itself. So the answer here is A. Which of the following functions um, grows faster for suitably large values of n? n times log n or n squared? Well, if you think back to number one here, this is n times log of n. This is n times n. So in both cases, we're multiplying by n, but we know log n grows slower. So the answer here is um, which one grows faster? It's n squared, b. The execution time for selection sort is roughly proportional to which function? n log n or n squared? Well, remember with selection sort, uh, we're basically looking at something that looks like n plus n minus 1 plus n minus 2 plus dot 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 down to 1. Something of that form is going to have a uh, formula that's proportional, roughly, to n squared. So that's going to be answer B. The execution time for merge sort is roughly proportional to which function? Well, that one is A, n times log n, and that's typical for um, the well-written recursive versions of sorting. And that brings us to the next point, which is recursion. A recursive function is one that, what, contains a function call in its definition, contains a call to itself in its definition, huh, has curse words in its definition. Just threw that one in to be silly. Okay, A is certainly true, but B is a better answer. What makes it recursive is that it calls itself. Okay, so the answer here is going to be B. Which of the following algorithms is recursive? Um, selection sort, merge sort, or bubble sort? That would be merge sort, again, B. Okay, so the point here is you should know your basic functional forms, n log n, n times log n, n squared, and how to order them in terms of which one grows faster for suitably large values of n. You know, we're not interested in values of n like 1 to 10. We're interested in a couple thousand or more, which is where these things become significant. All right, let's give a try to the next part, which is uh, data analysis. Okay, so these just are basically about pivot tables and charts and things like that. So pivot table real estate pivot, which is one of the examples we did, is based on data table sales data. After I add data to sales data, how does real estate pivot get updated to match? Either it updates automatically, it can be updated using the refresh command, or I have to erase it and start over. Well, in this case, um, the answer is B. You can update it using the refresh command. And I illustrated that in one of the uh, videos. I have a pivot chart, my pivot chart, based on a pivot table called my pivot table. If I change the categories of data displayed in the chart, how does my pivot table get updated to match? It updates automatically, it can be updated using the refresh command, or I have to erase it and start over. Well, in this case, the answer is A, it updates automatically. So the changes you make in the pivot chart are going to be reflected automatically in the related pivot table and vice versa. Okay, Excel can find the value of a variable that will make a formula have a specified value. The tool for doing this is called, and the answer here is B, Goal Seek. 
Excel has a tool to create a rectangular display of formula values based on the values of two variables in the formula, where one variable has values in the top row and the other has values in the first column. This is type of display is called what? Okay, and the answer here is it's called a data table C. Remember, I showed you one um, using a loan uh, where we had, I think it was interest rates down the side and, and the loan period and months across the top. And you could see in a, in a tabular display uh, how much the payment would be. So that was a typical example.